Good morning, Year 2. Our maths lesson today is going to be about learning the addition facts to 20. And I've got a picture there of the Numicon for 20 using the Numicon tiles, which should give you a good clue for one of the really easy facts for how to make 20. And before we start that part of the lesson, I want you just to have a think about this number. You might have seen this number quite a lot recently. And that's the name of the new year. And there's two different ways of saying this number, which makes it a bit confusing. Because some people say 2021. But actually, if you were reading the whole number, it's 2021. So it's 2021 years since the calendar started to mark Jesus's birth. Now, we're just going to have a little think about that number and the different digits in it. It's got four digits all together. I'm going to have a think about how we could make that using the Dean's apparatus. So hopefully you remember what some of these different blocks stand for. So the teeny, teeny ones down here, those are the ones. And then these are our best friends. They're really helpful with adding and taking away, which are the tens. And in year two, we don't really talk much about the hundreds. But as soon as you've got 10 tens, you need to swap it for 100. Because if you remember, you're only actually allowed nine ones, nine tens, and then nine hundreds. And as soon as you get 10 hundreds, you have to swap it for one of these great big ones. And those, if I can fit it in, are the thousands. And you're allowed nine thousands. So have a look at the number again of the date, 2021. Have a think about how you might make that using those blocks. How many of the red ones would you need? How many of the yellow ones would you need? Are there any of those that you wouldn't need at all? So have a think, maybe you could tell your parent or carer how you think you could make that. Now, if you look at this picture here, this shows you the answer because the number had two thousands, so two of the cubes, but no hundreds at all. There were no hundreds in that space. And then there were two tens, and then there was one one. And that makes the number 2021. And the reason people say 2021 is because it's 20 hundreds. 20 hundreds makes two thousands. Now we're going to be thinking today about the number 20. And I want you to have a look around your house and see if you can find 20 of the same thing. Now, this is a bit of a challenge. Me and Mrs Lewis have had a big think about what you might have around the house that you have 20 of. And there's not many things we could think of. We did think maybe bits of pasta, but definitely ask before you start emptying big bags of pasta. So you might be able to find 20 bits of pasta. And I hope there are 20 there. You might have to count them just to make sure, because I'm not sure I counted them that carefully. Another idea we had is that maybe 20 blocks of Lego. You probably haven't got 20 that look the same, but 20 things will be really helpful when you're going to find out about the different ways to make 20. So if we go back to the piece of the pasta, and I'm just going to check that there are 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1920. Thank goodness I was counting properly. Now, once you've got 20 things, it makes it a lot easier to find the different ways to make 20 because you can put them into two groups. So if I move this one over here, straight away, we've got an addition sum because we've got one add. I wonder if you already know how many will be over there. If you don't, you can count them. There are 19. 1 add 19 equals 20. And then if you maybe move another one over there, then you've got 2 add. And if you don't know, you can count them, but you might see that a pattern starts to happen. Add 18 equals 20. Now, you don't just have to use two groups you could put them in three groups. You could put them in four groups. You could put them in five groups. You could even separate them all out 
into ones and have one add one add one add one add one add one. So there are lots of different ways to make 20. So what I want you to do today, your task, is to write down the ways to make 20. And I want you to try and use a pattern and be systematic. Now, systematic is like a maths word and it's about using a system. Because once you can see a pattern, it makes it really easy to work out all the other parts of the pattern. So if you start with a zero, zero, add, what are you going to add to zero to get to 20? You're going to need all of them. So you're going to have to add all of 20 equals 20. Then just like we did with the Lego blocks, we could have one and 19 equals 20. Now, if you did manage to find 20 things, you could actually do this with the things. Two, add. Now, if you don't want to count what's on the other side, if you look at this, there's a pattern. We've got 20 and 19. So this pattern is going down. So each time it goes down by one. So two add 18 equals 20. And on this side, we've got another pattern which is going up. We've got zero, one, two. So after two would be three. Add 20, 19, 18, 17 equals 20. Now, the trouble with patterns, if you make a single mistake, it all goes wrong. So you have to look really carefully that you're using the pattern. Four, add 20, 19, 18, 17, 16 equals 20. So that is the start of the pattern. In your maths book, I want you to carry on that pattern. See how far you can carry it on with. And it will run out in the end. You will end up all the way back at 0 add 20, but it would be the other way around. This time it would be 20 add 0. So see if you can really neatly write in your digits in the squares, like I've had a go at doing, see if you can finish that pattern. When you finish writing the pattern in your maths book, here's a little challenge for you. This is task number two. And it says the answer is 20. What is the question? So this is your chance to show off a bit and just tell me any other facts, any other ways you know of making 20. So we could under the add one, we could do our one with the fives. Five, add five, add five, add five. And you don't have to write equals 20 because that's in the middle. So just like you do in your maths jotters in class, you can just write 20 in the middle and then you could write the different ways around the outside. So then, if can you think of a takeaway where the answer is 20? Now start with a really easy one. Think about, well, if I had 21, I'd only have to take away one and then I'd be back at 20. And you could turn this into another system, another pattern. What about if you had 22? How many would you have to take away to end up back at 20. I'm not going to put the answer in there. I'm going to leave that blank. See if you can work out that one and maybe carry on that pattern. Now you might know what that sign means. You might even know what that sign means. So if you want to fill in some times or divide, if you know them, you can. Don't worry if you don't, because we haven't started learning about that in year two yet. And we will definitely be coming back to dividing and timesing, and then you will be able to fill some in there. And I found a nice rainbow picture. It's got a nice way of showing all the different ways to make 20. So you find a number over here, and then if you follow the rainbow, it will tell you the number that goes with it to make 20. So we've got 10 and 10. Let's see if I can follow this blue one. I've got eight, so I've got to travel all the way down there, and I end up at 12 because eight and 12 equals 20. And what you have to do in year two is learn all these so you don't have to work them out. So you don't have to keep getting bits of pasta and bits of Lego and making a mess everywhere. You need to learn them so that they're in your head. So you just know all the ways to make 20. And if you want to have a go practicing them on ICT games, there's a game called Funky Mummy. And what I'm gonna try and do is put the link in the description to this video. I haven't managed to do that yet, but that's what I'm gonna try and do. If it doesn't work, if you Google ICT Games Funky Money, Mummy, that will come up. And down here, it says Bonds of 20, and that's to practice 
the ways to make 20. Of course, you can always practice some of the others as well. There's some really hard ones on there, aren't there? There's bonds to 100. That must be really challenging. So you could have a look at some of the others, but today we're just really going to be practicing the bonds of 20. So you can let me know how you got on later. Goodbye. Bye.